In a previous video, I covered the general impact of interest rate changes on an economy and a simple view of how governments can theoretically use interest rates as a tool to mitigate changes in the economy. Today, I'm going to talk about the impact of interest rate changes on the value of a currency. Recall that like interest rates are basically a cost to the borrower and a reward or incentive to the lender. So when interest rates are high, it's more expensive to borrow, but also more rewarding to lend. Whereas when interest rates are low, it's cheaper to borrow, but also less rewarding and there's less incentives to lend. But hmm, this gives me an idea. What if I were to borrow money from a country where interest rates are low and then lend this money in a country where interest rates are high? For example, I can borrow Swiss francs from Switzerland and pay an interest rate of 0.5%. And then I can convert this borrowed Swiss franc into US dollars, deposit it into a US bank where I can potentially earn up to 3.5% interest. So I collect 3.5% interest on the USD I've deposited. I use part of that proceeds to pay off the 0.5% interest on the amount that I borrowed in Switzerland, and I net a profit of 3%. This process is also known as a carry trade or carried interest. Whoa, whoa, so is this the secret to risk-free passive income? Just borrow money at low interest, lend it at high interest, and just net the difference in the interest rates? Well, no, this isn't some secret trick. Actually, everybody knows about this strategy because it sounds pretty obvious everyone who sees this is going to borrow Swiss francs to sell in exchange for US dollar and then deposit or lend this US dollar to earn a higher interest. But note that the key actually lies in the step in between. The borrowed Swiss francs need to be converted into US dollars. So when everybody is trying to carry out this transaction, there's going to be a surge in demand for US dollars. And at the same time, there's going to be a flood of supply for Swiss francs. And the outcome of that is that US dollar is going to increase in value because of the increased demand. And Swiss franc is going to fall in value because of the increased supply. So we see here the net effect of what happens when interest rate changes. The currency with higher interest rates, it will tend to increase in value. And the currency with lower interest rates will tend to fall in value. But of course, this is just theoretical, and there are a lot of other factors that can influence the value of a currency. Just for the purpose of this video, I hope that it gives you an overview into what generally happens when interest rate changes and how that impacts the currency value. So that's it for this video. It's pretty short. Like, comment, subscribe. If you found it to be helpful, I'll see you in the next one.